We got a call to a residence at 2368 Hamilton Drive. A 54-year-old man was found unresponsive on his couch. Roger, we're on our way. You're the one who called? Yes, I'm Stanley's neighbor. Do you know what happened? Not really. We were having coffee, and he was out of cream, so I went back to my house to grab some. When I came back, I found him like this on the couch. How long were you gone? Only a few minutes. I couldn't wake him, so I called 911. Did he uh, mention anything to you, like he wasn't feeling well or anything like that? He said he was having chest pain off and on since 10 last night. I told him he needed to see someone. Stanley. Stanley, can you hear me? Stanley. Nothing. We gotta move on this one. He had a heart attack a few years back. I, I think it was about three years ago. I really don't know anything else. Well, when I drove him to the pharmacy a few weeks ago, he picked up his blood pressure medication and some nitroglycerin spray. I think he also takes an aspirin every day. No. Did you really need to ask that? No, sorry, I don't know. No. Let's focus on the pertinent history here. I, I wish I could tell you more. You live next door to someone for years. You, you just never expect something like this to happen. All right, airway cleared. Lung sounds are absent. I told him he should have seen a doctor. Maybe I should have been more insistent. Gotta tell you, man's lucky his neighbor was here to call 911. When I saw him there on the couch, well, <laughs> you'll be able to save him, right? And what leader flow? Wish we had more history on this guy. It might make our job easier. And what do you see on the monitor? Right, that's what I think too. Good move. Okay, normal saline administered. What medication should be administered? Good choice. All right, flesh administered. Pulse present with chest compressions. Okay, it's removed. Good call. Way to hold up under pressure. Ah, okay, I see. Good going. Okay, it's removed. Stanley, can you hear me? You still owe me that cup of coffee. You're doing great. Just wish he was responding. All right, now that's what I call a step in the right direction. That's a good sign, right? Okay, which one of these should I administer? Right, that's what I think too. I appreciate everything you're doing for him. Med circulated with chest compressions. Time to get this patient in the ambulance. So which one of these should we give the patient? Ooh, bad choice. So which one of these should we give the patient? You're making it look easy. All right, flesh administered. Pulse present with chest compressions. What medication should be administered? Medication administered. You got it, keep it up. Med circulated with chest compressions. Okay, which one of these should I administer? Good choice. You're on a roll, don't stop now. Pulse present with chest compressions. So which one of these should we give the patient? Yeah, that makes sense. All right, flesh administered. Med circulated with chest compressions. Got a code three. We need to get to County General. What should I administer, doctor? You made the right decision. Flush administered. Medication circulated with chest compressions. Now, what medication do you want me to administer? Medication administered, doctor. Good call. 
The patient's not responding. You did everything possible, doctor. Maybe we should consider termination of efforts. This wasn't your fault. Sometimes regardless of what we do, what precautions we take, people die. That's just the way it is. You did the best that anyone could do. So Stanley Flatline, one thing I've learned over the years is a systole has a poor prognosis unless its underlying cause is rapidly identified and appropriately managed. If you determine the patient's cardiac rhythm is a systole, act quickly and begin CPR, intubate, and establish vascular access while aggressively searching for the cause of the arrest. Excellent! Your diagnosis is correct. You did a nice job in obtaining this patient's history. Overall, I'd say you did a pretty good job in treating this patient. You got a man down at 746 Crestview Road. Roger. What's the status? He's lying in his driveway. That's all we know. All right, we're on it. This should be interesting. Sir. Sir, can you hear me? We gotta move quickly. Looks like he passed out while he was getting the morning paper. No, that can't be right. He's not breathing. Wish we had more to go on. I mean, history, an eyewitness, just something. My sympathy goes on overdrive on cases like this. I mean, you wonder, does he have a family? Does he have kids? I hate calls like this. And what lead and flow? 100% oxygen administered. What do you think that rhythm is? Look at this. Notice that nasty chest scar? It's gotta be from heart surgery. Okay, normal saline administered. What medication should be administered? Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, okay, I see what you're doing. Nice. Med circulated with chest compressions. Okay, it's removed. Good move. Alright, looks like the ET tube is properly positioned. They trained you right. Ah, okay, I see. Good going. Alright, looks like the ET tube is properly positioned. That's it. I wish all EMTs paid as much attention to detail as you do. So which one of these should we give the patient? Medication administered. All right, flesh administered. Med circulated with chest compressions. Okay, which one of these should I administer? Good choice. All right, flesh administered. You're on a roll. Don't stop now. Uh, is that some radical new approach that I'm not familiar with? What medication should be administered? Hmm, now I don't think that's right. What medication should be administered? Yeah, that makes sense. Keep it going, you're in the groove. You got it, keep it up. You're doing great, just wish he was responding. So which one of these should we give the patient? Right, that's what I think too. All right, flesh administered. Pulse present with chest compressions. Okay, which one of these should I administer? Right, that's what I think too. Yeah, all right, that's it. Med circulated with chest compressions. What medication should be administered? Yeah, that makes sense. Things aren't looking too good.
This wasn't your fault. Sometimes, regardless of what we do, what precautions we take, people die. That's just the way it is. You did the best that anyone could do. Tough case. A systole may result from a variety of causes, including extensive myocardial damage, hypoxia, electrolyte imbalances, hypothermia, acidosis, drug overdose, ventricular aneurysm, and acute respiratory failure, among many other causes. I see you documented the appropriate diagnosis. Don't waste valuable time performing unnecessary procedures. In critical cases, every second counts.